What's up, man? NFL 25 Gamers. They're going to be hopping into our basic zone beater. Remember, we're in the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook. And today, our basic zone beater is going to come from the shotgun bunch uh, weak formation. And the main play we're going to focus on uh, is the PA post. And we're just going to use our uh, all the zones to show you this. So basically, real quick, we got to go. And we can only use our quick audibles, and that's the idea of the scheme. Um, quick audible up is going to be stick. Quick audible right is going to be halfback sweep. Quick audible right. Or excuse me, quick audible deep passes, verticals, and quick audible left is going to be the PA post. So first of all, uh, halfback sweep, what you want to do is basically you're just you're really looking to, to hit the edge at this. This is not a run you turn up. This is like a halfback off tackle from uh, Pistol Full House. You're trying to get to the edge with this. You're basically saying it's just, it, it is what it is. It's a halfback sweep. So it's just a jet sweep to the outside. Um, then real quick, verticals. How I like to run verticals. In this year's game, and also bunch guys, for all of you who don't know, is very effective, more effective flipped. Um, some of you guys don't know that because of the way that the motion snaps work on the left side of the field this year. Just like that single back tight, the bunch is very effective flip. So I like to flip it when I audible to it. But anyways, verticals. How do we use verticals? Verticals is one of the most popular plays in Madden history. What I like to do in verticals, this play, is I'll put green on a deep in route. So like a smart routed in route. And if I can't do that, then I'll run something else. And then I will put Sanu here. I'll leave him on that post. I'll take, um, whoops. Shoot, I forgot. I flipped it. Um, let's see here. Let me just go out, grab it, and then we'll redo that. But, uh, so I put green on that deep in route. And then I will put your uh, boy, I forgot to put my uh, roster in here too, but I'll flip it so that's what we get. And then we come out in a cover four first. And now we get this look. And so then we audible to our verticals, whatever play we want to run. I'll put green on that deep end, Bernard on a wheel route. This is one of the most effective form, uh, ideas of this play. And basically your first read is going to be uh, Bernard on the wheel. If they don't have a flat defender there, he's going to be open. Just take the flats, zone blitz, uh, zone blitz cover four, that will be open. All right, if they do have a flat defender, that's going to mean they're in a cover three. So let me audible to that real quick. So if they're in a cover three, well, that means that A.J. Green is going to be open right when he cuts to the inside so we can just easy pass lead down in route like we've been using all season so there's that and then what if they're in a cover two this is why i love this this flip this flippage of this formation when we motion bernard out that deep in route is going to act almost like a uh, it basically baits that safety down and we can just pass lead that wheel route up and you see wide open so those two routes beat every zone in the game zone blitz the wheel is going to be open cover two wheel is going to be open Cover three, in route's going to be open. Cover four, wheel's going to be open. Now you say, well, what if they put a defensive lineman in a flat zone? That's going to be really effective. I tell you what. That's why we had the left side of the field. We have two wheel routes on the left. So here, if they don't cover the left wheel, it's open. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. What if they max coverage, Cody? What if they give us like a 75 men in coverage, 45 flat defenders and all that? Well... You have to go through your progressions. Obviously, you're going to have more time, and that's the thing with this wheel route. If given time, the wheel route will always be open. Here you see, you saw that Leon Hall there get that little bite. That little bite there, it's everything in this game. A lot of you guys don't understand that, and I didn't understand it for a while. I was wondering why Giant Salt Trail was so effective. It's because of this like deep in route idea, and basically what happens here is it, it, that the in route is going to cause... Uh, Leon Hall, he's going to bite down every single time. So here we could just easily just sneak it in. As soon as we see him, his hips come forward, we throw that ball deep. And that's part of reading progressions. That's part of getting used to the offense. That's part of not running 75 schemes. Uh, you know, taking what I give you in one week and trying to master it, like, you know, through your whole game. But here, here we go. Sit. He snaps down. We pass lead up. And all of a sudden, we're going for humongous yardage against a cup, against a max coverage. I thought there was no way you could beat max coverage in Madden 25, but obviously there is. Here you go. So there's very simple setups, but it's very effective. And like I said, we haven't even talked about Gresham and the, the post and all that. That's open too, guys. Uh, so here, cover four, max coverage. RB, try to user catch that. Something, but it's always open. you got to figure out how to read the progression. So go through that. Go back and rewatch that if you need to, and hopefully pick up what I was trying to say through all of it. Stick. What we like to do with stick is we like to put Gresham on a drag. We like to put Sanu on a streak here, and we like to leave our running back blocking. This is going to beat every zone in the game. We're going to motion Gresham to the left. 
thought we were going to motion Gresham to the left. I guess we're not. Um, then we'll just... So if we can't motion Gresham to the left, then we'll just take Sanu, put him on a... Oh, look at that. We can block Sanu. That's pretty cool. I didn't know we could do that. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll just put Sanu on a flat zone, RB on a streak, and then we'll just drag Green instead of slant him. And then we'll motion Bernard out just to keep it consistent if we want to. And we can motion him out. He'll come back in. If they're in cover four, you're going to hit the flat. This is the most basic principle for beating zone ever. It's been around forever, guys. I'm not taking this from anybody. I'm guaranteeing you that. Everyone uses this. Basically, it's just a streak flat combo. And you don't even have to put Sanu on the flat zone. But there was you, if they're cover four, you throw the flat. If they're cover three, you throw the, the, uh, the corner route. And if they're cover two, you attack them through the seams. So here we'll go cover two for you. Cover two is probably the hardest zone to consistently beat out of a, out of this out of this play. So here again, set the play up. And here you'll see the corner route is wide open against cover two because of the streak route. It's going to hold the the middle the middle zones in. And you don't always have to throw the corner. You could also I think you could also fit the streak in if I remember correctly. Let me see that. So we'll put. Uh, Sanu on the streak here, and you'll see if you just pass lead it down or something, it's going to get them in, right in front of the safeties, and you'll be wide open there. So that's a basic idea of beating zone. And the PA post, one of my favorite plays in the game, just block your running back or put him on an out route, doesn't matter. Basically, your first read is the flat every single time. If they are not in a cover two, throw that flat zone every single time. They don't react to the ball. They don't react to the route. It's very effective in this game. If they do have a flat defender over there, you're going to hit Jones. He's going to do a little stutter step. Right there's the stutter step. You're going to hit him uh, coming over the middle of the field. If that's uh, not oh, if that's not if that's not open, that means that they're going to be running some kind of maximum coverage defense uh, against you. If they are doing that, then that means that Sanu is going to be wide open deep. So here's Sanu. Just pass lead him to the right. Click on, make that user catch. He's going to split safeties. He's going to beat man. He's going to beat zone. Very effective route. And then last but not least, our route, if they're in man-to-man -man coverage and usering Sanu's route, we're going to hit A.J. Green, pass lead him to the right. Um, you want to obviously throw it a little bit before that. But um, anyway, so it's unbumpable. The timing is always the same on this. Pass lead down to the right side. Click on, make that catch. And you're upfield. So that's our basic zone uh, beating offense in our uh, Green Bay Packers playbook breakdown. So be sure to check that out. Watch it again if you need to. I'd appreciate it if you guys liked the video and shared this on Twitter. And also, guys, be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to show you how to run the ball out of the Green Bay Packers playbook. So thanks for watching today. Be sure to come back tomorrow. And also be sure to check out some of our content later in the day. Thanks for watching, guys.